Imagine a rocket launch, not from a towering concrete launch pad, but from the middle of the ocean on a floating platform. This futuristic vision is now a reality. China just successfully launched the Jilong 3, or Smart Dragon 3, rocket from a sea-based platform near Haiyang. Carrying 10 advanced navigation satellites, this mission is a major leap in the world of satellite deployment. But why is this important? In this video, we'll explore the groundbreaking technology behind sea-based launches and the strategic advantages they offer. China's recent sea-based rocket launch marks a defining moment in space exploration, pushing the boundaries of what modern technology can achieve. At the heart of this success is the Jilong 3, Smart Dragon 3, a state-of-the-art rocket designed for efficiency and flexibility. Standing 31 meters tall and weighing 140 tons at liftoff, it represents the culmination of years of innovation by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, CAT, a subsidiary of the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, KSCC. One of the most remarkable aspects of this mission is the launch platform. A retrofitted ship serving as a mobile launch pad off the coast of Haiyang, Shandong Province. This approach to space exploration brings several key advantages. Launching from the ocean allows rockets to be positioned closer to the equator, which enhances orbital efficiency by taking advantage of Earth's rotation this reduces fuel consumption and lowers costs, making space access more sustainable and affordable. The flexibility of sea-based launches also enables missions to avoid densely populated areas, minimizing risks and broadening launch opportunities. The Geelong 3 carried a payload of 10 center space navigation enhancement satellites into low Earth orbit, approximately 650 kilometers above the planet. These satellites are not just routine cargo, they are pivotal to improving the accuracy of global navigation systems like Baidu and GPS. The Smart Dragon 3 itself features a solid propellant engine loaded with 71 tons of fuel, capable of generating 200 tons of thrust, allowing it to carry up to 1.6 tons of payload to a sun-synchronous orbit. This specific launch even broke previous payload capacity records for the rocket, a testament to its evolving design and engineering. What makes this technological breakthrough even more significant is its role in China's broader space ambitions, with plans to improve the rocket further by increasing its payload capacity to two tons and reducing launch costs. The Jilong 3 is poised to become a cornerstone of China's commercial and governmental space missions. This launch was one of many planned from the Haiyang Eastern Spaceport, which aims to conduct over 10 launches in 2025 and ramp up to 100 annual missions by 2027. The payload for this groundbreaking mission consisted of 10 center space navigation enhancement satellites, a major step forward in global navigation technology. These satellites, developed by Beijing Future Navigation Technology Company Limited, are part of an ambitious plan to create a network of 190 low Earth orbit LEO satellites. This system aims to augment existing global navigation satellite systems, GNSS, such as BEIDO and GPS, providing unparalleled precision and reliability. The primary purpose of the center space satellites is to address current limitations in GNSS systems, which can struggle with accuracy in urban environments or regions with high interference. By enhancing these signals, the center space system opens the door to transformative applications. For instance, autonomous driving, a field dependent on precise location data, stands to benefit significantly. Imagine self-driving cars navigating complex city streets with centimeter-level accuracy, reducing accidents and improving traffic flow. Beyond transportation, the satellites have immense potential in precision agriculture. Farmers can utilize the enhanced navigation data to optimize planting patterns, manage resources more effectively, and increase crop yields. This not only boosts agricultural productivity, but also supports global food security initiatives. In disaster response, the satellites could play a critical role, providing accurate location data during emergencies such as floods, earthquakes, or wildfires. Rescue operations could become faster and more efficient, saving lives and resources. 
The Senta Space System also has applications in Geographic Information Systems, GIS, supporting urban planning, infrastructure development, and environmental monitoring. By offering high-precision mapping and data analysis, it aids governments and organizations in making informed decisions. The system's ground segment, consisting of monitoring stations, complements the satellite network, ensuring real-time data collection and processing. What makes this effort even more impactful is its scalability. The current launch is just the beginning, with the ultimate goal of deploying the full constellation of 190 satellites. The Geelong 3 launch is not an isolated achievement, but part of a broader strategy to redefine space exploration through innovative technologies. Sea-based platforms are central to this vision, offering unparalleled flexibility and efficiency. Unlike traditional ground-based launches which are limited by fixed locations, sea-based platforms can be moved to ideal positions, such as closer to the equator, where Earth's rotation provides a natural boost to rockets. This reduces the energy needed to reach orbit, cutting costs and expanding access to space. The Haiyang Eastern Spaceport, which facilitated this launch, is a cornerstone of China's growing space infrastructure. Designed specifically for sea-based missions, it has conducted several successful launches and aims to support over 10 missions in 2025 alone. By 2027, the spaceport plans to handle 100 annual launches, making it one of the busiest and most advanced spaceports in the world. This ambition reflects China's commitment to maintaining a leadership role in global space exploration. Sea-based platforms also provide strategic advantages in safety and risk management. By launching from the ocean, rockets avoid flying over heavily populated areas, reducing the risk of accidents and debris fallout. This approach is particularly valuable for high-frequency launches, as it ensures minimal disruption to communities and infrastructure. Moreover, the mobile nature of these platforms allows for rapid deployment and adaptation to changing mission requirements. The broader implications of this technology are significant. Sea-based launches could democratize access to space, enabling countries without traditional launch facilities to participate in satellite deployment and other space activities. China's willingness to share its expertise and collaborate on international projects further enhances this potential. The Geelong 3 is just one piece of China's ambitious space program. Upcoming missions such as the Tianwen-2 asteroid sample return and crewed missions to the Tiangong space station highlight the nation's diverse capabilities. By combining cutting-edge technology with strategic vision, China is setting the stage for a new era of exploration, where sea-based platforms play a pivotal role in expanding humanity's reach beyond Earth. The success of the Geelong 3 sea-based launch isn't just a milestone for China, it's a milestone for humanity. By innovating how rockets are launched, enhancing navigation technology, and expanding space access, China is shaping the future of exploration. This mission showcases what's possible when ambition meets innovation. As we look to the stars, it's clear that sea-based launches are more than a technological curiosity. They're a game changer. They promise a safer, more efficient, and more inclusive era of space exploration. And with every successful mission, we're one step closer to unlocking the full potential of space for all of humanity. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.